Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. How's everybody out there doing today? Wherever you guys are today, hope your glass is full of gratitude. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome to subscribe and join our growing community. This is where we venture through state to state, through town to town, to see just as much house, cabin, and acreage we can get for our money. And you may want to hit the notification bell because the house you're not looking for may be in one of these episodes. So we're moving into another beautiful state of interest today, looking at properties like this one right here. New to the market, sitting on more than two acres of land for $159. Then there's this mid-century modern beauty on just a little over an acre for $134.9. And then there's this cutie with a detached garage with an apartment above it on one and a half acres for 129. So we're gonna check out some details on these properties today while we move into the beautiful state of Michigan. For those of you wanting to move to Michigan, you're gonna be living with about 10 million people. Weather Channel tells us it's in the low 80s in Michigan today. And for those of you wanting to buy real estate in Michigan, we're looking at a real estate tax rate of 1.64%, which is higher than the national average coming in at 0.99%. So we're gonna take a look at this house and start here and move into the beautiful state or beautiful town of Williamston, Michigan, 48895. Now this house has only been on the market three days and it's situated at 1030 Noble Road. The house has 1,088 square feet. It's two bedrooms and one bathroom and it was built in 1950. And when we look at Williamston on the map, we are right here to the east of Lansing. Way down here to the southeast is Detroit and here's Ann Arbor to the southeast. And we are just above Mason and Holt and Fowlerville. Fowler, Fowlerville. <laughs> okay, so this is 159. What are we getting? This looks like it's been really well maintained. We do have a detached garage over here to the left. Nice covered entry. Nice pine right there so we can put our bright white lights on it for the holidays. So we're getting a shingle roof. And it looks like we're getting shutters on the windows except for this one right up above. We have blue skies of Michigan. There's our beautiful parcel, little over two acres of land, plenty of room for the hot tub there. Here's our detached garage. Looks like that's big enough for two vehicles. Does have a side door as well. Gravel driveway. Nice big piece of heavy equipment there when things get, you know, we gotta move some stuff. <laughs> Okay, so here's our front entry. Could be vinyl siding. Nice wood stairs to get us up to the concrete pad there. Okay, moving right on into the inside. Look at these gorgeous hardwood floors. Very pretty. If we didn't want the paint color, if it's a little bit too dark for some of us, we could just do a nice light bright interior paint color. Do get a view of the kitchen there. Looks like the kitchen has vinyl flooring. Nice windows to let that Michigan sunshine in. So this may be the dining space. Really cool light, look at that. That's very that's cool. The windows look fairly new. So this would be the dining room. I like how they applied the tin panels on the ceiling there, that's kind of creative. The color is very pretty, but I would say that if it were lighter color on the walls, it would just appear a much larger space. But it's very pretty nonetheless. It could be way prettier in person also than what we see in the photographs. Nice windows. Okay, so here's the kitchen. So not a lot of cabinets, but totally gets us started. We do have a nice window above the sink. We do have a dishwasher. If you wanted to change out the hardware and paint the cabinets, that's totally doable. So these are floating cabinets up above. If you didn't want those there, you could remove them. Maybe put them on another wall or in a laundry room. You could have open shelving. You can add an island. Good size kitchen. Okay, moving on to maybe a bedroom with mirrored closet doors. Again, it's kind of dark. Beautiful flooring. This window looks like it's, doesn't look like that one's been replaced. Okay, so moving into the bathroom. Good size bathroom. 
tub and shower combination. Vanity looks fairly updated, not too terribly old. The counter looks like it's been updated. So we have two, four, six, that's like probably a seven by five bathroom. Looks like this is more linen storage in that cabinet there. So here we're moving to the upstairs. Good use of space right here. We could have a bedroom. We could have a home office, storage. Looks like we're getting a big closet. We do see an issue there around that ceiling. Okay, and here's the other side of the room. Does it have carpet? We might find hardwood under there. We roll it up and remove it. Okay, so here is in maybe another bedroom or maybe a home office or maybe it's a utility room since there is a dryer vent there. Good size utility room. Yeah, good size, look at this. And then we have another door to get us outside so you can come in from outside if you're doing some chores and you don't have to get the rest of the house dirty, you can just take care of things right in this room, nice. Put a washer and dryer in there, you'll be all set. Okay, so it looks like the roof is fairly new so maybe the issue on that ceiling was just from days ago. Nice house. You could add perennials. You could add window boxes. Very pretty. Wide open spaces with more than two acres of land and corn fields all around. Yeah, very nice. And a garage. Okay, so let's get some details on this one. 1030 Noble Road, Williamston, Michigan, 48895 with 1,088 square feet, two bedrooms and one bathroom. And it's been on the market three days, built in 1950. They must not be counting those bedrooms up. Oh no, I guess that would be one big bedroom upstairs. It must be one downstairs. Okay, let your imagination and creativity get busy. Uh, starter home has two bedrooms, one bath, a large living room, spacious kitchen, dining room, and a flexible utility room, large two car detached garage slash barn with a little cosmetic updates and vision. Turn this home into something special. And it has a classic country setting for your backdrop. Nice. So when we looked at the history here, it was sold in 2006 for $320,000. Maybe it was part of a larger farm. That's what I'm kind of guessing here. And now they've separated it and detached it. And now they're asking $159,000. 74 years old. The house was built in the 50s. And again, the real estate tax rate is 1.64% in Michigan. So let's see the street view. Wow, look at this. Wide open spaces. Rural Michigan right here. There's our neighbor. Look at this, wow. Beautiful farm, that is spotless. So maybe it was part of this at one time. Really pretty though, nonetheless, very pretty property right there. And uh, yeah, nice. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. Oops, sorry about that. And this again is 1030 Noble Road, Williamston, Michigan, 48895. And uh, over two acres of land. That's a very pretty house. Okay, moving on to this one right here. This is 134.9 on a little more than an acre. The house has 1,481 square feet, three bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms. This one is in Ironwood, Michigan. So let's look at Ironwood on the map. We are, woo, right here near the Wisconsin border. Look at this. So we are just above Nori and Aurora and Jesseville. So when we scroll back here, we are in Gogebic, 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 Gogebic County, pardon me if I'm mispronouncing that, in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Okay, so here we are, and we are at N10289 Lake Road, Ironwood. And this is 134.9 with three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. This house was built in 1952. It's been on the market 148 days. Let's see what we're getting. Okay, this looks really pretty. Brick blonde exterior. Nice pathway to get us up there. We do have a little bit of landscaping. These photographs look like they were taken a while ago. So there's a two car detached garage. That adds some value. Better to have one than not. Okay, so here's a road view. Does have a little sidewalk there when you come out of the garage. Looks like the roof's gonna need some attention but we're getting a little over an acre. 
There's the opposite side. Just have some trim color around the windows. It's just the edge of that house that looks like it's in rough shape. But again, home inspections will speak volumes. Looks like a solid structure though. Okay, so there's another view. Nice covered entry. Yeah, the roof looks like it's gonna definitely need some attention. There's our outside brick fireplace, very cool. Okay, and there's our chimney. Okay, we do have a neighbor right over here. Yeah, these pictures were taken a while ago. The agent should have went out and taken some new photographs through the beautiful summer in Michigan here. Okay, moving on to the inside. Here's would be our entrance area. Looks like we're getting hardwood flooring, wood burning fireplace, nice windows along the walls there. Baseboard heat. Yeah, this house has a mid-century modern vibe to it and it happens to be one of my favorite styles. I would work off of this and just go nuts with this. This is gonna need some attention, but it's full of potential. It looks like a solid build. I bet it's very pretty in person. Okay, so double window above that sink. This is not the kitchen I would expect in a mid-century modern house, but it is what it is. But we could work off of that or just replace it with something a little more to the era of the home and style. Okay, so there's a the cabinetry. Looks like it could be vinyl flooring in the kitchen. Nice set of, hopefully those are doors to get us out to that patio. It's a nice little courtyard there. I don't know, that might just be a window. Hmm, looks like those are just windows, I guess. So here's maybe a bathroom. Right off the kitchen, it looks like. This might just be a powder room. Yeah, it's definitely gonna need some attention as we see along the flooring there. Again, we have to have a home inspection, find out how long the house has been vacant, what kind of condition it's in. This may be a bedroom there. Another view of that bathroom. Beautiful windows. Home office here, could be another bedroom. Looks like we're getting a closet there, off to the right. Dual closets, nice. Okay, another bathroom with a pedestal sink, tub and shower combination. And here's our laundry room. It's a little bit of a, that needs definitely some attention. I think that's, no, I'm sorry, that's not laundry. That's just another bathroom, and then we're moving down to the laundry in the basement here. Okay, it does have a utility sink there. Nice staircase, does not have a railing. But the basement looks nice and dry and clean. Here's our electrical box. Okay, and there's the mechanicals, and there is a diagram. So the bedrooms are 13 by 10, the primary is 15 by 11, another nine by 10, nine, 10 by nine bedroom, patio seven by 16, another covered area, 13 by 23, very nice. Kitchen 16 by 11, the living room is 20 feet, four inches by 13, 10, that's a good size living room. The dining is 11 by seven, foyer seven by three, porch is 10 by 30, Sorry about that, I'm trying to. Well, I can't scroll in for some reason. I think that says 10 by three foot two inches. Sorry about that. So the house is 1,326 square feet is what it says here. Okay, and this is N10289 Lake Road, Ironwood, Michigan, 49938. It's been on the market 148 days, you guys. And the longer they sit vacant, you know, they do decrease in value, so you can make your offer accordingly. Built in 1952 with that two-car detached garage, 
practical floor plan, mid-century modern blonde brick ranch, covered patio facing the west yard, trees for privacy, outdoor brick grill, and wooded with mixed deciduous and conifers, three bedrooms, one bath, and two half bath floor plan, and real fireplace in the living area, primary features a his and hers dressing room with a primary bathroom with a tub and shower, and the house is soundproof and easy to heat, it says, and ceiling fans move the breeze in the summer. Nice. So this one's gonna need a little bit of elbow grease and possibly a roof. Okay, so it was listed in March of this year for 145. Now they're down to 134.9 and the house is 72 years old. Nice mid-century modern right there for somebody that's interested in that style. Definitely has potential with over an acre. Okay, moving on to this one here. This one's 129 on 1 1.57 acres, 1,100 square feet, two bedroom, one bath house. Been on the market for 51 days. It was built in 1950. It's in Barton City, Michigan, 48705. So we go to Barton City. We are in Alcona County. So here we are in Barton City, right near Lake Huron. So we are to the west of Harrisville, and Mio is over here, and then Hubbard Lake is to the north, and Tawas City is to the south. So we are right here in Barton City. Scroll out on the map. This is where we are on the map right here. Beautiful. Okay, so this is 330 East, oh, I'm sorry, 1171 North Montana Road, Barton City. It's been on the market 51 days and it's two bedrooms, one bathroom. What do we get? Nice little detached garage, a covered porch here. Nice driveway there. Okay, so there's our garage with a dormer and an upper deck does have a little storage on the back side as well. There's a part of our parcel. Looks very private. Okay, so that's another view of the opposite side. So we get another side deck along with that covered front entry. Not a huge house, but totally big enough. This is all we need. Okay, moving on to the inside. So we do have laminate flooring, a lot of paneling, also a lot of windows. Now we have to envision this with painted paneling. If we wanna lighten it up, we could paint these strips on the ceiling so they weren't such, you know, that's not what our eye will draw to if it's all conducive in one color. That would be maybe the living area. Does have a gas propane wall heater on the wall there. Be nice to have a wood stove. Okay, look at that woodwork. Okay, so we're moving into maybe the kitchen. Okay, so there's a double door refrigerator with an ice maker. Do have a gas stove. Nice kitchen, look at that. Does have the window above the double sink. Very pretty kitchen. Okay, this would maybe be a bedroom. Continues right in with the laminate flooring. Here's our bathroom. Very nice. Looks like knotty pine. Tub and shower combination. Does have an assist handle there. Updated vanity. Very clean, we could move right in here. Another bedroom there, it looks like that's a closet door. Might be some storage behind these doors here. Okay, so there's another view. And then this would hopefully move us into that building, nice. There's a workshop. Looks like we could pull in there possibly. Okay, so there's the upper deck. That would be maybe the entrance door, and then there's a staircase to get us up to the upper deck there. Beautiful place for perennials and nice flowers along the front. Put some flower boxes on the top of the deck and just let them drape right over it. That'd be really pretty. And we could even do something with the flooring there and have something up above our heads when we're down below if we want to put seating down there. Kind of dress it up a little bit. 
Okay, so here is maybe the living space above that building. Concrete floor. Okay, so here's the upstairs living space. Not bad. A lot of paneling, but we could paint that. Here's our electric stove. Totally big enough for someone to live in there. Nice open plan. Studio apartment, basically, with a bar area. Nice big windows. And then there is a view of the beautiful Michigan sunset. We must be near a lake, Lake Huron. Beautiful. Oh, this is Mud Lake, lumbering center of Alcona County. Okay, so that must be nearby. Snowmobile trails. Beautiful. All right, so let's get some details on this one here. And there's another view. So we get the house and an income producer or a college apartment right above that building there nice 1171 north montana road barton city michigan 48705 and this house has been on the market for 51 days you guys and it says minutes from jewel lake you'll find this year-round home or up north cottage with a 32 by 24 garage and finished upstairs for a hobby room or a guest nestled on five nicely wooded lots 1.57 acres in total 300 feet of frontage along the front of montana road and there is a laundry room off the kitchen and the detached garage is 32 by 24 with a 16 by 24 area um, overhead door, electric and concrete floor. The other side is a 15 by 24 in great storage and workshop. And if you like the outdoors, this is a place for you. It's five minutes to 437,000 acres of Huron National Forest. Sweet. You have a boat launch. You have the Barton City Bar and Hammer and Nail Restaurant for local dining. You have a gas station, a general store a public park, a pavilion, all kinds of wonderful recreational activities with this place. You also have a golf course and White Pine or White Pine National Golf Course and Spring Fed Hubbard Lake. Sweet. Okay, so when we look at the history, this was listed in June for 149,000. Now they're down to the 129. The house is 74 years old. And again, the real estate tax rate is 1.64%. So let's see the street view. Look at that beautiful parcel right here. Do have an A-frame neighbor across the street? Another neighbor here. You could drive around at different times of the day, but it looks very nice, very rural, country green of Michigan. Again, it's 1171 North Montana Road, you guys. Been on the market for 51 days with 1.57 acres. So between this one, a mid-century modern on an acre, or you can have a two-story on a couple of acres with a garage, Michigan definitely has it. Wherever you guys are today, hope you're having a fabulous day and your glass is full of gratitude. You're welcome to subscribe to the channel. So until the next state of interest, please stay safe, everyone. Stay aware and definitely stay tuned. Cheers.